Well, hello there. Here we are in the middle of the night, or middle of the morning, whatever. <laughs> it's now 4.19 a.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And the two brightest stars up there, the one in the trees is over to the left is Jupiter. And the brightest uh, one off to the right, far right, is Saturn. Now, I'm going to go out and uh, get another camera. And I'll be right back. Hang on now. All right. Let's see who we have here. Alrighty, now here we go. Alrighty, this year, in the year 2021, we get to start off with Saturn while Jupiter's still stuck in the trees. It's getting out of there though. So, with the ISO cranked up real high, we can see the planet Titan off to the 7 o'clock position of that oval bright object. <laughs> All right, and that tiny speck there is the planet Saturn at 1600 millimeters. And there we are at times 10, so 16,000. Wow, it's so good to see it again. Let me try to get a clip of that. I'll be right back. All right, quite cool. Now Saturn's up about, oh, 28 degrees above the horizon or so. And Jupiter's just now eking out of the trees. Let's uh, change things up and try to head over there. And there we go. And there we go with the four moon planets around Jupiter. Wow. They're coming in nice and bright tonight. But let's take a look at Jupiter itself. Hang on now. We're at the times five, just so we know. And boy, oh boy, is that good to see once again. It doesn't look like we have the great red spot tonight facing us. It must be on the back side. But I can clearly make out the, uh, especially the top band there. Much darker. I do hope the uh, stacking comes out all right. But it's been so many months since I've done it. Who knows if I can remember what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, lovely to see you there, big guy. And just for reference, there we are at uh, 1600 on the Canon RF 800 lens, and we had the uh, 2x extender on there. And then, of course, times 10, like we can do with the uh, focusing zoom. Because it's still just way too tiny dot on a full frame camera. All right, there we go. We might have a better focus now on Jupiter. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell when you're out here, but I can make out a few of the uh, planets here, planet moons. I'm gonna make one more pass over to Saturn. I'm not sure if I had it in focus or not. Okay now. And just in case. Now if this all comes out alright. Knowing myself, I'll probably overlay the Jupiter video onto the Saturn part. So we can get them side by side here in the same frame. 
Of course, the spacing won't be proper, but it's nice to see both of them at the same time also. Oh, what a wonderful sight they are. And just so I know, I'm at 180th, 3200 ISO. And we're at our fixed F22, since I have the 2X extender on there. It's so unusual to see them flip-flop this year with Saturn rising before Jupiter now. But hey, Jim, I think I beat you. <laughs> now, Skywatcher Dinos, Dinos, he beat both of us. And for those who don't know, that's Skywatcher Dinos. He's over in Greece. He's been able to capture both planets here for quite a while now. He has a lot better sky conditions than we do. <laughs> We had a lousy start to June so far, and uh, the way the forecast is looking, this might be my only hope for any type of sky watching that doesn't involve clouds and rain. <laughs> it's getting lighter and lighter outside, so let's wrap it up now. It's now 4.51 a.m. up here. The duo of Saturn and Jupiter are going to wave good day to you. Me too. <laughs> Have a great new week ahead. Bye now. A few early morning birds. <laughs>